Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So don't forget for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come through with some voiceovers. So unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure you guys all saw me post about the situation that went down today with Bow Wow and his on again, off again girlfriend, Kiomi Leslie. So what happened is that early this morning, it was announced to the press that Bow Wow was arrested for battery on his ex-girlfriend. But then it later on came out that basically when the police got there um they felt like they were both involved in battery of each other so they both were arrested and the mug shots were leaked today when i tell you these mug shots are crazy kiyomi doesn't have a scratch on her but as you can see with bow wow's face he didn't walk away so lucky he has a ton of scratches on him he definitely looks like he was in a fight okay i'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a news clip go ahead and check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary noon local rapper shad moss also known as as Bow Wow is facing charges following a fight with a woman. Atlanta police tell us the incident happened early this morning at Piedmont House on 12th Street. Officers could not determine who started the fight, so they charged Moss and the woman with battery. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So according to Fulton County Sheriff's Office, they're stating that Bow Wow has been charged with battery and his bond was $8,000. Um, I don't know if Kiyomi's still in there, if she's gotten out, but they did say that Bow Wow ended up being released on bond around 1245 today now this entire situation is insane and we've been having really good dialogues about it on instagram i'm sure many of you guys watch their relationship play out on growing up hip-hop atl i did get a chance to watch this season and even though kiyomi is a beautiful girl nice body you know what i'm saying she's bow wow's type I never felt like this relationship was okay. It always came off as toxic. She comes off as extremely immature and insecure as well. You don't have nothing to worry about. Give me a drink, God. I just need you to know whatever goes on in Atlanta, I will find out. I drank wet ass with the f I was on. This is bad. It's like she just does not know how to handle Bow Wow celebrity and she gets really upset and highly irritated when he's in his element, when he's talking to his fans, when he's having a good time. On the other hand, Bow Wow also likes to test the waters. He likes to do little things to poke and aggravate her and he also does not know how to handle his liquor, okay? Even during the show, we saw hints of domestic violence abuse because if you guys remember, there is a situation that was not recorded on camera where they were arguing and fighting around five o'clock in the morning because Bow Wow came home super late after partying with his boys and Kiyomi was there you know ready to scrap up with him they had to call the mother and the mother ended up coming to break it up Motherfucker trying to kick me I didn't even feel safe she's swinging I'm holding her damn where's Kiyomi so what you do and the mother told Bow Wow, you know, at this point in time, I think you and her need to be done. You don't need to be with her. Bow Wow himself even said that the relationship was toxic. So I don't understand why they're still playing these games. And even after the show ended and they stopped filming, um, they had broke up again. And she was then dating young M.A. So she went from being Bow Wow's girlfriend to being a lesbian. So she was dating young M.A. So that was the last I heard of her. I thought she was dating young M.A. and living her best life. But somehow in between, you know, young M.A. snapped this girl up from Bow Wow somehow her and Bow Wow got back together which to me is insane because again this was a toxic relationship they didn't need to get back together at all they should have cut their losses and kept it moving I want you guys to go ahead and check out these clips from Grown Up Hip Hop ATL check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary something I can't shoot a video with a girl without her thinking something next time you come in at 5 a.m. it's a problem hmm. me and Leslie have tried to work this thing out so many times it's like, where do we go from here? What are we doing? I wasn't acting like this before I met her. The situation is just too toxic. The arguing and me always having to fight for her trust when I've never given her a reason to not trust. It's become a problem being with her. To keep it all the way simple, our relationship is too toxic and I can't deal with it. And it, it ain't working. Right. I'm done. So it's over. It's over. But everything that I have going on now with the tour coming up and all of these shows, I need to stay the f away from drama. I get too wrapped up in it and I gotta just clear my head. I think that um, this relationship being over, that's a great choice. 
So, Bao, you really serious about this? All right, so you guys just saw those clips. And the one thing that bothers me with this situation is, let's keep it real. Coming up, we never heard any stories of Bow Wow, you know, really getting into it, flipping out, getting arrested. He was not one of those young guys that was in and out of jail, in and out of trouble. You know, so I find it really sad that now that he's a fully grown man in his 30s, that now he wants to start getting himself involved with the police and start tripping on camera and start wilding out. And I really feel like this new attitude and all this anger and all this toxicity it came on once he got with Kiyomi I feel like they're both damaged and they both have a lot of baggage even when they went to counseling they both talked about their abandonment issues how neither one of them had a father in their life he doesn't really know how to treat a woman she doesn't know what to expect from a man so it seems like they both have a lot of issues in this relationship and they're both dealing with a lot of baggage and a lot of heartache see your adult drama is simply unresolved childhood trauma. Just think about your childhood. I mean, I'll be finding myself, I'll be blaming my father. Like, if he was around, or if he was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The industry raised me, Snoop, Jermaine, uh, Nelly kind of filled that void, but it wasn't what I needed my real pops to be. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's still, it's not the same, but right. I never had that. I always had Snoop and JD in my life to kind of coach and guide me. But you know, the thing I think I still suffer with is the fact that my biological father never really was in my life. No man ever taught me how to treat a woman. No man told me that, look, this is what you need to do when you out with a woman. Everything I had to learn was learning on the road. Had your father been there, he would have shared some things with you, right? You're somebody, son, I love you. This is how you treat a woman. I also feel like he sometimes judges me, but you don't know what I've been through, how I had to survive. And those things have brought me to where I am now. I'm not ashamed of how I used to live my life or the steps that brought me here. How did you get there? I've never depended on a man. I felt like I had to do it on my own. That's how I... Why is that? Because my father was not there. He's in prison. So your father was not there. Mm -hmm. I was the man of the household in my family. I took care of my mom, I took care of my sisters, I took care of my grandmother, anything that they need. Even to this day, I have family to take care of. All right, so you guys just saw that clip, and that's why I say that some relationships just don't need to happen. You know, they're better off as friends as opposed to being lovers, okay? Because all I saw in this relationship all season long was nothing but toxicity. So I cannot say that I'm shocked that it got to this point. I mean, this chick really fucked up Bow Wow's face. I mean, she like legit tried to scratch his damn eyes out. I don't know what all he did to her because she's not wearing any bruises on her face, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have any bruises on her body, okay? Now, a lot of people are clowning Bow Wow. A lot of people are cracking jokes. You know, we've all seen the memes all day today. You know, people just going in on him, making front of him and what I find funny is why everybody's sitting here clowning Bow Wow now if he would have turned around and punched that girl and gave her two black eyes and had Kiyomi looking like how Chris Brown did Rihanna it'd be a whole nother story y'all be going in on Bow Wow y'all be dragging him he'd be all types of abusers me too would come out the woodwork you know what I'm saying so why is it that when a man is physically assaulted by a woman and he's being physically attacked why is that seen as funny why do people find this you know comical that he's wearing all the scratches and she he has no bruises on her but again if the roles were reversed and Bow Wow blacked the shit out of her damn eyes y'all be the same ones crying and saying that he's an abuser you know so that's the part that's not funny abuse is not funny no matter who it happens to male or female so when I see people clowning him and saying you know that's what he gets or he's a punk you know how he gonna let her scratch him up but again had he done something to her y'all be saying the total opposite so social media is just full of damn shit okay we got a lot of immature people who find you know jokes in certain things that's not funny I think the fact that both of these young adults okay Bow Wow being a grown ass man she's in her 20s are arrested you know for beating up on each other obviously he's not too innocent because they arrested him too you know it's just sad you know and at some point in time you have to take personal responsibility for why you're in that situation neither one of them need to be together Bow Wow's mother done told him to leave that girl alone and not because you chose not to listen to your mother to your friends and the people who are trying to advise you of the right things now you're sitting here with a mugshot a scratched up face getting clonked on the internet and most of all you know this girl is helping to ruin your legacy because like I said Bow Wow's not one of those entertainers that's in and out of jail and you know has a long rap sheet and stuff 
like that. So it's really sad that he went through all his craziness in his teens and 20s without being arrested, only to start dealing with the police and arrest records in his 30s. That's not a good look, especially when he's a father of a young girl. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, once again, concerning Bow Wow and Kiyomi. How do you guys feel about their toxic relationship in general? And then how do you guys feel about the internet clowning Bow Wow because he's wearing more bruises and he's all scratched up? But like I said, in the same breath, had she been the one wearing the bruises, Folks will be dragging by while saying that he's an abuser and me too will come out the damn woodwork. So do you guys find the hypocrisy in that? When Chris Brown, you know, allegedly defended himself and, you know, beat on Rihanna, he was demonized. But now Bow Wow appears to be more the victim than anything and now he's getting clowned. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.